I mean, we're trying to keep it light, you know, like we're up here like this. When a guy really pulls a knife, you really wouldn't want to be there. You'd really want to be more in, you know, like one of these stances where you're taking away a lot of his angles from him. Uh, you know, now all of a sudden nothing's going to be a low angle because you're so low. Uh, that's one of the things I really like about uh, Serena Eskrima is they really, you know, those low stances that they have, they really change the zones, you know, three and, uh, three and four just get taken right out of play. And now you're really in one and two zone. The hardest thing while you're standing like this is the fact that you have this big area and those low ones actually are in those zones three and four. They become tougher to handle when you don't have a knife really to focus on, on his knife hand. And again, we're not in those deep stances. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do this one from a deep stance. So already you can see how easy it is for me to get out of the way to get that knife away from me when I step out to the side. That time he threw a, a, a feint at me almost. I said, and what, you throw feints at me now? And what did you say? So there's no there's no targets when you're that low. Right, that's the you're thing, down you get low. down low, you're just taking that zones and you just squeeze. Now, I don't know if you noticed that one, but he said to me, uh, I actually threw you by your arm. Yeah, he did throw me by my arm. I stepped up, I'm on one foot, I'm on my back foot. I'm trying to push this way. He's putting something up there that's blocking me. So that starts forcing my weight back. Then on top of it, he pushes it. And yeah, he wanted to throw me, uh, he moved me. Two steps, three steps. It's on two, left hand, uh, knife held in left hand, and left hand lead. The reason that we're doing it from a concealed now also is to mimic more of this stance. Why are we still in this high stance? I mean, once you see that knife, you want to, hey, what do you got the knife for? You want to yell that out, uh, get people in the area, uh, get people in the area's attention so that they see that this guy has a knife and he's in front of you. All these things can help uh, de-escalate the situation 
everybody starts like, hey, hello, put the knife away. People are going to be yelling shit like that. And uh, uh, it's going to help you out. Uh, again, even if you're alone uh, in a, uh, you know, in a parking garage, and once you see the knife, you got to get in that low position, which we weren't doing initially uh, because I actually forgot that the guy was supposed to be attacking from a uh, concealed position. It definitely gives you a little more time also uh, from that high stance, that high kind of uh, 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 just ready stance instead of a fighting stance. It gives you a lot more time before that knife is coming at you to make your uh, uh, defensive maneuver. Uh, whereas if you actually saw the knife, you'd want to be down here, you'd want to take away a lot of his zones, give him a much smaller target, and again, then, as you saw, it was easier to defend like that. All right, zone two, uh, weapon in right hand, right hand lead. Oh, 
have been good, but I closed my eyes. I didn't see it. Yeah. yeah. I just went. Yeah. You're out of the way. This year. All right, again, this is zone two, empty-handed. Uh, knife is going to be held in the uh, rear hand, Chinese grip. You looking at my girl, man? Yeah. Yes. You're looking at my girl. Sometimes you just gotta throw that kick. I mean, that's all there is. Yeah, if I'm leaning back, I yeah. just gotta balance it out with that too. Yeah, again, I know we said don't kick, but sometimes that's all you got. This guy's up here, and you're playing patty cake with the hands, and you kick to the groin. I mean, that's all you got. And again, that's the impossible snatch out of the air. Again, uh, you know, it came to an area that was the right spot at the right time, and he snatched it. He doesn't know what's coming. I threw a, I threw a five, one, I threw a six, two, and while he's defending, I don't think he's going doing the math to say, oh, that was a five, one, six, two. So he's got to come with a seven. You know, I, I really don't, I don't buy that. I don't buy that he was doing that math. And of course, he's saying, shaking his head, no, I wasn't. Yeah, he was able to get a snatch out there. Just reached, reached out and snatched it. But again, where was he after that? Well, you know, he's in a, he's moving away and he's not ready to snatch and then do that disarm. I agree 100% with Kelly McCain there. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen unless the guy knows exactly what angle's coming, how it's coming, and that he has a guy who's gonna comply with him. You know, I mean, you, you can make them snatches every now and then, but to you know follow him up with a move, well, you know, only if you've rehearsed that specific thing. I agree 100% with Kelly McCain on that. One. Uh, McCann. Uh, it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Nobody's going to just reach out there and snap somebody and do their disarm. You know, and, and again, unless you have a compliant attacker. It's all the way out.
I mean, Scotty does have a, a thing where he likes to stand in after he makes a stop. And he says, you know, you know, I stopped it and then I'm backing up. I said, you're backing up because now you're reactionary because I'm coming with this combo. I said, you should just run away. And I said, you know, run to your car and go get your gun. Run to your car, go get your knife. Go run to your car, get a stick. Run over there and get a trash can, you know, whatever. I mean, this guy continues to come at you. He's got a knife. He's already proved he wants to attack you. I mean, three shots in the head, you know, as he comes at you is going to be completely defendable in court. You know, I, I can't, even in California, you know. And this guy attacked me with a knife. I blocked the knife. I was able to get away. He then pursued me, Your Honor. And I got to my car. I got a gun. And as he was continuing to come at me, I shot him three times in the head. I mean, maybe they'll say, oh, you should have gotten your car and driven away. Uh, well, I got to my car and, you know, he was coming at me at that point. The, the only thing I think of is get something to save my life. I thought he was going to kill me. Yeah. I thought he was going to kill me. I All right, this is the rail. This previously had previously this was one of our secret techniques. That's why we misnamed it last time. But this time we're really gonna do the left hand uh, Chinese knife held and rear hand techniques that previously have never been filmed and have only been mistitled to mislead <laughs> people about the secret. I don't know how many times you've seen it. When I kick at him, sometimes I'm playing around. Uh, like that time when I kicked at him, I was just playing around. I would have run away. But uh, uh, you see, his knife goes down. You know, he's, I'm not in a vacuum when I throw those kicks. He's going to react to them. I should start, you know, walking and walking. Yeah. Okay. Then your mom says, okay for you. So what I did there was I just controlled him with checks. <coughs> Wouldn't let him turn right or left. He actually went to switch knife hand for some reason. I mean, he's playing around a little bit, but uh, <coughs> trying to trick me up. So anyway, you see how that works. Tell me a little kid about to get spanked. I was like this. Right. <laughs> see what happens. 
there but for some reason I really thought he was going low and then thank God this hand was still up here because he went high and I'm blocking. So I guess that means no panties? Oh no, my no God. panties. Okay. Alright let's get on. Uh, oh wait I gotta go here. Okay, I'm Yeah, again, one of the reasons you can do what I did to him, which was lock him up, is because I'm working right on my fighting center. He's off to the side here trying to push me. He doesn't have any uh, any base to push off of. I mean, he can try to turn into me, but as long as I'm on his flank, he's really just arm pushing me. Meanwhile, I'm here like this, holding that. I have my one hand against his one hand, but I'm here like this. You know, I'm in this push-up zone area, and he's out here in uh, you know, some kind of exercise with dumbbells like this where you are using only a, uh, a low percentage of your weight you know for that exercise that's all you really can do whereas here you can do you know I mean it's like a uh, what's it called when you do those uh, bench press from inside like this inside bench press it's an old, it's an old. but I mean you can do a, your body weight like this from these kind of grips so I mean if I'm 200 pounds that means one hand is doing 100 pounds you don't see a lot of guys especially my size you know doing I mean whatever size you are you know, think about how much you can bench press from this uh, closed grip or near grip type bench press thing. I can do almost 200 pounds. Uh, but out here when I'm doing my, you know, this uh, tricep fly, I mean, I'm doing maybe 30 pounds. You yeah. know? I don't think I do much more than that when I do that exercise. So, I mean, that's what you're basically looking at. You're looking at 100 pound strength versus 30 pound strength. I mean, it's just the guy's not going to get anywhere. I mean, he's got to literally, like, really reorient himself and now he can get there. But during that time, certainly you're going to be able to strike him once or twice, you know, yeah. or, or again, just push him off and run away. Same dude, every week. Always there. I know, I just, I just so good looking. Mm -hmm. I can't find it. I got four coming back. <laughs> I even did under her seat in the toilet and her thing still as I can. Can you do twice? We're trying to keep it light, you know, like we're up here like this. When a guy really pulls a knife, you really wouldn't want to be there. You'd really want to be more in, you know, like one of these stances where you're taking away a lot of his angles from him. Uh, you know, now all of a sudden nothing's going to be a low angle because you're so low. Uh, that's one of the things I really like about uh, Serena Eskrima is they really, you know, those low stances that they have, they really change the zones, you know, three and uh, three and four just get taken right out of play, and now you're really in one and two zone. The hardest thing while you're standing like this is the fact that you have this big area and those low ones actually are in those zones three and four, they become tougher to handle when you don't have a knife really to focus on 
on his knife hand. And again, we're not in those deep stances. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to do a... Uh, So that time he threw a, a, a feint at me almost. I said, and what, you throw feints at me now? And what did you say? So there's no there's no targets when you're that low. Right, that's the thing. You get down low, you're just taking that zones and you just squeeze. Now, I don't know if you noticed that one, but he said to me, uh, I actually threw you by your arm. Yeah, he did throw me by my arm. I stepped up. I'm all, dude, we're going to do this one from a deep stance. Already, you can see how easy it is for me to get out of the way to get that knife away from me when I step out to the side. Yeah, 